Hey folks, welcome to another Civilization 6 video, and today we are going to be playing as Australia, and we're going to be trying to deploy a strategy that maximizes the uptime for the Citadel of Civilization ability that gives 100% production to Australia if they've either received a declaration of war or liberated the city in the past 10 turns. And before we get started, I do want to do a quick follow-up update to my Barbarian's clans mode video and in that video I had sort of stated that it cost a lot of money to get the conversion or a lot of gold to get the conversion to a city state it seems like they've tweaked that and it really like that the barbarian clans will turn into a city state on their own if just left alone and it doesn't really cost a whole lot of gold so it seems like that has been tweaked but it's not really a huge change to the mode but it is easier to get additional city states and you don't have to spend a lot of gold that way. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We are playing on Deity Difficulty on a Terra map with Australia. All right, so let's take a look at how this strategy works. What you want to do is you want to either capture or raise another Civ's cities that is near a center where you have a large population so you can see preferably your capital but um my capital is not over there it is over uh somewhere where is my capital oh, it's down here okay so this one's not near my capital my capital is not exerting a lot of pressure capitals exert double loyalty pressure so that is uh preferable but you can see i have a very large population city here and this was actually uh, George's original capital. Now here is a free city that previously belonged to China. Now so once you've exerted enough pressure onto the free city what you'll want to do is now you can see this will actually flip to me in 11 turns it's flashing a little kangaroo so uh, normally in most circumstances I would just let it flip because then I wouldn't get a penalty for capturing it. But in this instance, that is not what we're trying to accomplish. What we want to do actually is give the city back to the original owner. So let's go ahead and now it's got it's a very low population city. So it's going to they're not going to be able to hold it. So here, we'll go ahead and go like this, and then we're going to liberate this to Georgia. Georgia's actually been eliminated from the game, so this <laughs> this will be their capital. They'll get double for it, but you can see that, that it's going to rebel in five turns again. So now we have the, well, we won't, it should show up here in a minute. Um, let's see. So it's not showing up yet, but should show up here. Just a moment. Let's. Sorry, we've got to finish moving these guys around. We're just going to lose. So, we're not actually at war with anybody right now. That was just a free city that we were attacking. I guess I should build a vampire castle somewhere. This is not, not a great spot for it there, but uh, what is this builder doing here? This builder needs to do something. She's just hanging out. All right. Uh, why, why do I have all these builders? All right. Um, Did we center Eastern Orthodoxy? I don't know. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we did. All right, we won that. All right, so we will just wait for this city to flip. I'll actually cut out here. We're on turn 111 going into 112 right now, and we'll pick back up here shortly. Almost forgot before we cut out here, just to show we are getting now the 100% modifier from the Citadel of Civilization ability across all of our cities. So we had a very meh production and now we have very uh 
I don't know, still sort of meta production, but uh, plus 100% across all of these cities. And so we're going to rinse and repeat this process as, uh, as the game continues here. All right, so you can see on turn 123, and this is actually pretty much just 10 turns after. So we've lost the bonus now. So we'll have a couple of turn, a few turns without the bonus, but you can see the capital has again been lost by Georgia. So since we've left our our troops outside, stationed outside of here, we can go ahead and position in. All right, so now we should be able to grab the city on turn one twenty five. So we lost like three turns of having uptime on the bonus so we don't have the bonus right now but we will here shortly and i get my vampire moved over this way so i don't get booted out over here all right and then all right so we go there and then we'll go ahead and liberate georgia again and it'll have even less population, so it should be easy to keep. And then we should have the bonus next turn here. Let's see. Um, considering building the preserve just to get more housing in here. Let's see. I think I might build it here actually because that will buff up the yields on that by getting those tiles to breathtaking because of Australia's ability of uh, campuses, commercial hubs, holy side theater squares are plus three with breathtaking appeal. So let me go ahead and put that there. And then. Mm. Go ahead and, all right, so we have to level up these guys, rest here. All right, so we should have the the bonus again here, and we do. So hundred percent bonus again. Nope, did we lose scissoring status somewhere? No. All right. So we can see we just rinse and repeat this process. This will flip again. So uh, depending on how well you have your troops positioned you should be able to get close to 100% uptime on the Australian ability, which is 100% production. But anyway, so that's a neat little trick you can do to keep uptime on the, um, the ability for Australia. I also do have uh, another nice Australia seed that has a lot of um, cattle on it to take advantage of the um where is it the culture bomb pastures trigger culture bombs on the land down under so let me grab that for you folks and let me get it up here in a moment All right, so here are the map seed details for the map that I mentioned. So here's the map and game seed. Everything is set to the standard settings here as far as number of players, number of city states, and all of these settings. They're just standard. We have a Terra map, and then I had Barbarian Clans, Heroes and Legends, Monopolies and Corporations, and Secret Societies on. All right, so here is what this seed looks like if you do decide to play it. Starts um, here. It's not a river start, but it's uh, it's got a freshwater start here. 
So if you settle in place, you'll end up with six housing because this is not considered a coast um, because it's a lake. So you don't get the coastal bonus. But you start off with um, some pretty nice uh, tiles nearby or um, hexes nearby, as well as um, once you do the animal husbandry research, there's quite a few horses and sheep nearby. And I think this is actually a, a really fun and, and good map for playing Australia. So I would um, suggest giving this one a try if you'd like to have a solid start with some good resources. It also has a fun little Panama Canal here thing if you want to do that later for some reason, if that's your thing. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I will see all you folks later.